If you've watched my winter packing video, then chances are you probably have a good handle on what to bring in your suitcase for your winter trip to Iceland. But there are a few items that I really don't want you to forget. So that's what we're talking about today, friends. Hello Team Iceland, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeannie and I am here to help you plan the best winter trip to Iceland. And make sure to watch all the way to the end because I have a free gift that I want to give you. Before we get too far into this video, it's time for a little Instagram love. This one comes from Sunny Junebug and she writes, Hey Jeannie, I found your videos earlier this year and you've been the biggest help ever. I just bought your ring robe book also as we are finally in the last details of our planning, but I'd literally be so in the dark if it weren't for you. Amazing. I live for these date makers, you guys. First of all, thank you so much for your comment. And if you would like to be featured in a future video, then all you have to do is tag me in your Instagram stories when you're on your trip in Iceland at Iceland with a view and who knows, maybe I'll pick you. So today we are talking about the three most important items that you need to make sure to bring in your suitcase for your winter trip to Iceland. So let's get into it. Number three, touch screen gloves. Let me tell you friends, it's cold in the winter in Iceland and you want your hands to be warm when you're exploring and you don't want to take your hands out of your gloves or mittens just to like take a photo or snap an Instagram pic on your phone. So you want to have gloves with a touch screen on your fingertips. This is going to be so helpful so that you can use your devices while just keeping your hands warm. By the way, links to all my favorite products are in the description below. Number two, all of the extra batteries that you can muster. This is an extra battery pack for my phone. I just plug a USB cord in here and it gives me two full charges. These are extra batteries for my camera because I actually need this much. So here's the deal. When it's cold, the battery on your devices goes down so fast. Seriously, cold weather zaps batteries. It's crazy. So you don't want your camera or your phone to be dying in the middle of your day. So bringing extra battery packs, extra batteries is going to literally save your life. These are not expensive. It just, trust me, you need them in the winter. Ooh, bonus item I just thought of. You do not want to forget a swimsuit because you know what would be an amazing way to end a cold exploring day in Iceland? Soaking in a hot spring or a hot pool or anything hot really. Cause you're gonna be freezing and the pool culture in Iceland is so big. You can find a hot pool in every town in Iceland. The Icelanders love their pools as much as the Finns love their saunas. And if you don't have a swimming suit, you're gonna be really sad. Plus, because the winter is so dark, it doesn't leave you a lot of time for exploring. So you might as well fill your darkness time with a little hot spring action. You know what I'm saying? And the Number one item that you need to bring in your suitcase for your winter trip is crampons. This is no joke, friends. Basically, you need crampons if you're visiting Iceland between November and March, non-negotiable. By crampons, I mean, this is, um, the basic step is yak tracks, which is similar to this. It's a rubber piece that goes around your boot, but it doesn't have the spikes. It has coils. So, and they're also a little bit cheaper. Yak tracks are perfect for literally if you are walking around Reykjavik, because you know what? They don't de-ice their sidewalks. Like it's not a given that they're gonna just clear the sidewalks for you. So it can be really slippery, like really, really slippery. And it, I almost slip going into work several times. So I'll throw on yak tracks just to keep really safe. These spikes are more similar to a crampon that you would use for ice hiking, but this is like goes around anyone's boot. And this comes in different sizes. This is what I use when I'm going to Cellulensvoss, for example, because the spray from waterfalls, you guys, it creates this layer of ice that's so thick, it's like crazy. 
And if you don't have crampons, you're either gonna like slip and break something or you're not gonna be able to walk behind that waterfall that you wanna walk behind. And it's gonna be really sad. So seriously, my friends, you do not wanna forget these. Do yourself a favor, invest in a pair. It's not a lot of money and I promise you will thank me later. Okay, my friends, so if you want these items and my complete winter packing list, then all you have to do is head to my website and download your free packing checklist. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, friends. I hope you loved this video and I will see you next week for another Iceland video. Happy planning, friends.